Welcome to the group chat chronicles. I'm your host, Dev. With me, as always, we got Leek and Roxy. What's up, y'all? What's, What's up, up, good y'all? people? And on this podcast, we always give our own takes on a lot of topics. And as always, we want to thank the listeners and the watchers for supporting. Yeah, yeah. And as y'all know, before we start the show, we always go over what we have been tuned into. So, Leek, what have you been tuned into? Uh, Roddy Rax, YG Tech. Young moves. All the Baltimore artists, basically. I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what the fuck the industry going on. All them niggas just trash in my opinion. Shout out to Baltimore. They got the best right now. I'm sorry. All right. What about you? Um, I really don't think I've been tuned into nothing new. Mostly shows. Um, I've been watching this show called Heartbreak High um, mm. on Netflix, which is pretty good if you like stuff like that, like uh, skins and like kind of like Degrassi type vibe. Um, okay. And it's like a spinoff from a show called Heartbreak High from, I think it's like 1998 or something like that, like a, a throwback, whatever. Stay doing a remix. Yeah, but it's actually good. Um, I fuck with it anyways. But i just been watching Netflix a lot. I've been watching the Upshaws, that Mike Epps show. That was pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty that good. That was pretty good. Uh, they just recently had like their next, not their next, their, uh, they put a new... Part out. Part out, yeah. Oh, where? And that was good. And that one lady, oh, I can't, I can never. Miss Pat. Is that what her name is? Heavy set black lady. Yeah. Yo, Miss Pat show fucking funny as hell. That's oh, no, my no, no, shit. Maybe, maybe not. It's not that one. Nah, it's a lady who uh she be cooking on uh on TikTok. Oh nah. I, I can't think of what her name is, but she was on that and it was pretty cool. Um, I need to get back into uh. Abbott Elementary. Yo, facts. But. That's my shit. I ain't getting tuned to the season yet. I, I want to binge watch it, though. That's Y'all know I like to binge watch shit. Same. So, yeah, that's kind of why I'm waiting, honestly. Yeah, but that's about it. How about you, Dev, other than this game that got you pissed <laughs> off? Y'all seen yeah, his this reaction? Game. Now that well, wasn't me. That's the game. I'm tight right now. That's the nah, game. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a, there's a Sixers game playing in the background, so that's why. Uh, let me see. Music was that Bryson Tiller project. That actually cool. was a right project. Cool. That was cool. Uh, that future in Metro, we still don't trust you. I kind of like that better than the first one, for real. Um, okay. What else? TV show eyes, Abbott Elementary, uh, Grownish came back. Oh, they I did. haven't seen it since it came back. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I saw WrestleMania 40. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yo, wrestling is my shit. That's yo, shit. Yo, yo, that's wrestling is my shit, shit yo. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> no yeah, shout out to Bianca Belair, good woman. But, um, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> you gotta get a shout out there always. Um, mm. What else? That's about it. Okay. In terms of nice. stuff. So, yeah, we're gonna go into this first topic. So we're gonna talk about this these beefs going on in the music industry. Whole lot of we cattle gonna, going on around this motherfucker, ain't it? We're gonna start with something that's been brewing for like over a decade now. We're gonna talk about Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Uh-huh. So Listen. to catch y'all up, basically Drake dropped push ups. Mm-hmm. Uh I fuck with that, I'm not gonna lie. No. Facts. Then he dropped that AI shit. Taylor made. Yeah, Taylor made it. Was, it's kind of genius. I ain't going to lie. I liked it. I mean, I just feel like he should have just rapped like Pop and Snoop. But it's neither here nor there. And then I got my take on that. Go and then um, as of this recording, Kendrick still hasn't responded. Mm-hmm. So how do we feel about this whole shit? Man, not going to lie. Drake doing his fucking thing right now. He's He took... Rap beef to another level with that Taylor Me, and I don't even think people even realize that shit yet. That nigga used AI technology of legends of the West Coast speaking to this nigga on to beat on to this himself. Yeah. Yo, like, literally pulled, like, an Eminem in real life. <laughs> like, using AI. That's some clever shit, bro. Like, yeah. I, like at this point, even like with the Kendrick verse, like if we really want to dissect like the bars or whatever, Kendrick really ain't say shit other than "fuck y'all." Ain't no big three. It's big yeah. me out this yeah, bitch. Yeah, facts. That's just attitude. That's you know what I'm yeah. saying. A uh, uh, confidence, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah. That nigga said, "Drop it, give me fifty. Yeah. When top say drop, you gotta <laughs> give him fifty percent. He, you gotta get that nigga fifty percent of your shit. Yeah, yo, with that him on the business side of things. Like, I don't even yeah. know if, like, That's what crazy. can Kendrick even say yeah. that'll even be like, ooh, other yeah. than another confidence bar. Yeah. yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like Drake kind of, 
Yo was shooting at different angles on that one. I'm not gonna lie. Drake Drake was shooting at different Y'all angles. I already like. know. They could never make me hate Drake. I love me some Aubrey. Y'all like And it's like he, 50 niggas against him right now. Like it's crazy. Literally, and I think um what's even crazier is the fact that I'm a I'm a kinda take a little detour. Y'all was really trying to get on my cousin Jermaine about not wanting to beef, and I don't appreciate that. But Aubrey got it taken care of. Nah, like, that nigga we, ain't we had good. to apologize. As a Jake, as a Cole fan, apologize. that shit had. Me. I'm still tight about that shit. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he didn't have to apologize. He had to <laughs> apologize. You said I'm what not, you said. I'm not. Yeah. You said you said what you said. Like if he would have, I ain't gonna lie. If he would have took the song off, cool. that day, I'd have been like, all right, because it's might delete later. So I get it. No, he, no. I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm talking about the day he apologized and the yeah. night he apologized. If he done it that oh, day, I, I wouldn't care. He waited till a week so the shit can get on the charts. And, and then, then <laughs> took it off. Like, yo. <laughs> look, that's, that, 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 that's how I look at it. Yeah, but, Cole's supposed to let that shit rock. But, I ain't gonna right, go but, yeah, but go Drake ahead. did his little thing. I personally, I'm the type of person, especially when it comes to Drake, a lot of his songs, look, this this game got him stressed. <laughs> <laughs> this game got him stressed. Yo, this, um, yo Sixers, get it together. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, when it comes to Drake, there's a lot of like, he's one of those artists for me where I don't even know the name of all of his songs, but I guarantee mm-hmm. if it plays, I know every word type of thing. Okay. Like, I can just listen to Drake and know what I'm listening to. And then you'll be like, yo, you know that song? That I? And I'll be like, huh? <laughs> Until you play it. Because I listen to him so often that I don't even be thinking to look at the names of shit. And like, I'm just saying, like, every time he put out, he I just be so excited because like, yes, go off, go the fuck off. The only downfall about it, which I don't know if it's true because I haven't seen any reliable sources yet, but um, I did hear that uh, Tupac's estate wants to sue. Because, oh, I definitely heard that. Oh, yeah, because he didn't um, clear anything. He didn't. Because it's the sound of, of yeah, Pac's voice. Yeah, the sound voice of his voice and, and stuff. They didn't ask that's what I'm, it That's shit, what I'm so. saying. That's like some real industry yeah. published shit. Like, he, yeah. man, he did his thing on Now, that. imagine it pops out and he's like, oh, no, I, I asked the estate. We got the permission. That would be crazy. Like, That'd be yo. just insane. But I, I don't know. I feel like especially because it's like AI, like, what can you do? Like, you literally have fucking cartoon Drake with his real voice Singing fucking like nah, keep it a stack. <coughs> fucking ice spice and shit. Like what can right. you do? Like it's yeah. it's AI. Like there's literally nothing you could do about it. Like it's gonna be happening regardless. You Might can. as well make it entertaining. You can because of likenesses. And that's True. basically what the Tupac estate is coming at. That's his yeah. likeness at the end of the day, his voice, his tone. Yeah, yeah. Quote unquote how we how he speaks, but even though we could tell it's Drake, yeah. but yeah, yeah. it's it's still yeah, I that. get it. I get. I get that part. I get but that it. shit's crazy. I think it's hard that he did that shit because I ain't think no rapper period would even attempt to try to use yeah. AI in that kind of way. Facts. And, and then, the fact he did it during a rap beef. Did you see a, a Kanye interview when he was talking about who was it that hit him up trying to do the Drake takedown and da da da? And then uh, Kanye went on to say like, I've had. 10 rappers in the booth with me or in the studio with me and some of them still not as good as Drake. Like, mm. that shit's crazy. And like, I love that like artists be saying this type of shit in interviews because you know when the next disc come out, boom, the first thing you going to hear is none of them were as good as Drake. Yeah. And then, you know how it be echoing? None of them were as good as Drake. Like, yeah, <laughs> he yeah, about to yeah. smoke y'all with that. Like, <laughs> the same thing, uh, freaking, I wish, I just wish Cardi B would come, I know this is off topic, would come at the City Girls because there's a interview where JT's talking about Cardi B paved the way, Cardi B paved the way, and now y'all beefing with them. Like I mm-hmm. I love when artists have beef with people and there's video proof of them hyping them up dick eating. Like I yeah. love that because yeah. let you make one wrong move, that's the intro of my next song. Like you dick eating. Yo, like, that's and- crazy. Not to cut you off, but it's, that's just another thought. <laughs> talking to cuz Cuz was like, um, you know, Kendrick this, Kendrick that. And I'm like, yo, Kendrick is on record basically yeah. Thanking Drake yeah. for all like, to yeah. a whole I'm audience. I'm saying like you yeah. can't diss me when like, I got your yeah. voice, your picture, your video praising me. Like why? In are you your hood, me? by the like, way. I got you. Like in your hood, by the way. And I'm just like, <laughs> like if I was Drake, I would have been posted that video and logged out for the day. Like you look up to me, nigga. Like <laughs> what? What? But don't get me wrong. I fuck with Kendrick. I fuck with Kendrick. Facts. But like this is a good little beef because I feel like Kendrick, he's like. He's very lyrically talented. Like, oh, I, for sure. I, 
Kendrick be going crazy. Drake is just so sassy and witty though. Like that mm-hmm. should be call that man sassy. I mean, he is he a sassy. <laughs> not too scared of little Aubrey. <laughs> he he be a little sassy. He be like, and he's quick. Like he boom. Oh, bet you said that. I say this. Like he's back and forth. Like he's quick with it. Like yeah. nobody was expecting him to drop. Everybody was freaking out on Twitter. Is this AI? Is this real? Is this real? And then boom, he posted it. I said, Oh shit, it's, Bro, it's real. It's the real thing. This I is not shook. a drill. This is the real like, oh thing. My God. Oh, shout out to V. Shout out to V. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well throw them in there. Shout out to Troy. I've been fought with Detroit Heavy too. Like Babyface Ray V's and them. I fought yeah. with them. PZ. Yeah, I fought with them. They, they hard. The, the way I look, I don't like how all these niggas is jump is just jumping in now. Like that yes. shit's corny. I mean it's not corny, but nah, it's that like, shit corny. Stand at on this that. Point, it really is corny. That shit corny. I mean, bro. it's like Niggas is like you got fucking Ross dropped the diss. I I, I respect it because he, he dropped it like right after. Yeah, yeah. I respect it. He dropped that shit quick. I, I respect it. But then you got Rocky. He, he he had that verse. The shit was hard though. I gotta admit, Rocky, that shit was hard. I, mean, <laughs> I, I can never remember his name either. I'm bad with names. He's a, a social media influencer. He made the one video talking about, all right, who all got beef with, with Drake? And then he'd be like, Chris Brown. You got beef with him, and he be in the back like, yo. Oh, uh, like, RDC, oh, marking, them, marking, them. marking them? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> mad fucking funny. Yeah. And then uh, Tony, Tony put out a video, and it was like Drake in a studio, and he said, you're short, and fuck Rick Ross, fat ass. Like, <laughs> he started killing it. That should be so funny, like, because that's really how it was. Like, boom, and fuck Rick Ross, by the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, this beef is just fucking You got Weekend. Facts talk, talk, on. Talk, talking this shit. Yeah, like what? Fucking everybody. It's like niggas literally. I don't know. I th- got a group. You I know what it's like. Got it's together like, to beef uh, with Drake. Bro, for I think niggas just got to like. They found out who Drake really is, and they just yeah. got a beef with that, and they, they, they just got a problem with him. Yeah. At this point, it's like, I feel yeah. like but low key, is mad that Drake fought their bitch or something. I don't low know. key, it'd be a lot of secret animosity. It's like if Dev put out a diss for you, and I'm in the back, like fucking finally, yeah, and fuck that nigga, <laughs> fuck that nigga, like yo, that's period. literally what I've been happened. waiting. I've been that's waiting what for somebody to beef with him so I yeah. could also beef with him, like. Yo, that's, that's literally, literally what happened. happened. Somebody yeah. said uh, <laughs> that ASAP at home with Rihanna crying because he ain't get addressed. <laughs> Going out your way to make a diss and niggas are like, anyway. <laughs> like I know he was tight. I know he was tight. Then uh, Rocky did do his thing though. I ain't gonna lie. He did his thing. And then he did his thing. And then this 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 whole Kendrick got a time. That shit corny because the whole time shit. Period. Like I'm not I'm not saying. Hold on, I'm not saying. I don't know. I'm not saying. I'm not saying Drake had to like. Drake had to respond immediately. I'm not. I'm not on that shit at all. That okay. whole that whole time period thing mm. at all. I don't care who it is because it takes a while to make a song. Not and I mean, it don't take a while to make a song, but it's like <laughs> it's great. like I'm not let these niggas just this cook. The, was, okay, this way I, I got I gotta stop you, bro. Yeah. It's competition. Oh, I, I, I get that. Saying? I get that. I'm not saying. So it's like you you he came out. He as in Kendrick. He kind of yeah. sparked the shit. He put the gasoline down and sparked it. Them niggas been right? this, them niggas say, been subbing for. Since he was in high school, bro. Sure. Come on, yo. Sure. I will say I am hoping that Kendrick take a little bit longer because then we can get another little back to back moment. Like, he already had when, the well, honestly, moment. they talking about this nigga allegedly <laughs> might be dropping True. an album in May. In, 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 in May. A, a if you waiting all the way to May to drop your disc to put on the album, that's kind of like I mean, well, it is it's May, a money grab. I mean, Takeover was on Blueprint. Kind of was. That's, that's True. This <laughs> either True. was on the album. <laughs> But it, I, I guess for me, with the with the with the back for back, like you know, back and forth, because yeah. it's, again, it's a sport. So it's yeah. like Drake, he's he's showing niggas he's in the game. Yeah, yeah. Rick Ross, even though it came from nowhere, we yeah. need yeah. for shit. I said, but he's showing he's nah. showing niggas though, I like said, he not in the, the game. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Ross showing niggas yeah. though, like yo, I'm Facts. in the game though. So it's like, yeah. like I said, Kendrick, he was just you know on some man like fuck y'all, it's me out here. Yeah. Yeah. And Drake in many ways in two different records yeah. is like, nah, nigga, it's really me. Yeah. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use you, your, me, Junior, nigga. Like, literally, I'm gonna use yeah. Uncle Snoop and Tupac on this yeah. joint, yeah. and I'm gonna rap at the end of it to, to conclude how I feel about the whole situation, and I'm gonna still wait for you to respond. Yeah, I wish Pierre. And was we're here. still waiting. <laughs> literally, like. Yeah, I wish Pierre was here for this. Yo, <laughs> he have a field day. Yeah. <laughs> he fucking. But nah, like, I ain't gonna lie. This shit, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> this shit just proves like 
there's no like rap star up and coming. Fuck no. Yeah. Cause these niggas is about to be forty. Mm-hmm. Like yo, hey. yo, it's like yo, it's like it's like everybody that I, that I predicted. Like I'm not gonna say they fell off, but it's like we getting old. Yeah, for sure. like it's we getting old. Like, like yeah, God damn, oh, yeah. it's rough out here, bro. But yeah, so like, what's your prediction with this whole shit? Man, I ain't gonna lie. If you ask me, if I keep it all the way hundred, I think all these niggas ain't cahoots. Oh, real shit. It's no, too. Yeah. No, real shit. It's I think it's the fucking, drink takedown. You feel what I'm saying? No, like, I think I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna do their little back and forth and shit, mm-hmm. and then in 2025, the big three tour, the first rap tour in stadium, some and shit, shit like that. Yeah. yeah, I'm going. I cause of course you're I'm going. going. <laughs> I'm going to. I'm going, going, going to. Oh, you a concert going too? That's a fact. I, mean, I like Kendrick. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, why else would I go? But like, but like no, no. I feel like all these niggas in cahoots. Like, it, yeah. out of nowhere, all y'all got beef and it's that serious. Now imagine out of nowhere. And then let's think, let's think real quick now. I don't know if y'all know this, but just on the the label side of things, like hip hop is kind of on the slender, slender end of things. Like oh, Atlantic fired mad motherfuckers, Universal then fired mad motherfuckers, and they're all yeah. in the rap division, guys. They're not yeah. in country. Yeah. And, Whatever the fuck else that's out there, pop or yeah, Taylor it's the rap sold, category. Yeah, Taylor sold two million first week, first week. Which I ain't gonna lie, I saw some shit. She had like two billion streams. Yeah, it's insane. Like, how do you even? They are like that? addicted to this woman. Yo, like yo, she got more than Beyonce. Do you, do you think it's AI though? Let's keep it a bean, bro. Hey, I don't man. know. I think some of that shit AI. Just I a, mean, I ain't gonna lie. It's a, it's a sprinkle. Back in my yeah. day, like back in back it's when a, Taylor a first came out, like I fucked with her music, like like I liked you know little teardrops on my guitar and shit like that. But like right. these, days, I don't listen to her music. Wow. I don't. I just she doesn't have anything that really makes me like. Oh my god, I wanna let me throw on this Taylor Swift while I drive to work. Like mm. I don't really have. She don't really have no songs that like. Speak to me in that way, like where I get in the car, like oh shit, let me put this on my playlist type of thing. I feel like, but it's like I feel left out, low key, because apparently the I'm the only one who don't fucking love Taylor Swift, and no, I'm like, no what it's, the it's fuck, the kids, like, bro? I ain't gonna lie, I think it's the kids. I don't know because where where I look at it, yeah. she's selling out stadiums just like how Beyonce and yeah. Weekend are selling out stadiums. Mm-hmm. So and they're not getting the same stream, so that that. Bro, I'm trying to stream that farm shit, shit might be in. That's a lot of yeah. yo. Two, <laughs> listen, bro, two billion streams. That's crazy. In a bro. week. That's crazy. On one app, so everybody on your app basically. And then fucking. It's up. just streaming that shit like that. Yeah. Ain't no fucking way, bro. I'm sorry. I don't believe it. Yo, this. <laughs> it's okay. She, it's she, okay. She, it's okay. <laughs> Take and a she, breath. <laughs> and, she, and she took over like and like eight of her songs. Made like that drop down like eight or nine or some shit mm-hmm. after like a month. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, man, listen, streams is crazy. Hey, man, the streaming farms is real too. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so yeah, what, what do you think this outcome of this beef is? I think I'm hoping that, oh, sorry, I'm hoping that it ends up with DJ Khaled coming out like. Just kidding, new album. And it's every nigga that was beefing on the album. Fact. <laughs> but not like, realistically, how though. How can DJ drop another album, though? Like, all his homies beefing. <laughs> but, like, that's, that's the thing. He gonna have to be, he gonna have to be, like, the... Yo gotta be I'm the glue. Everybody, everybody he on the album. A, he gonna drop a God Dead too. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> Shit. But, realistically, though, I hope that Kendrick responds. I think, right now, it kind of feels more like... Friendly fire only because Kendrick did do an interview saying like, like this is what it's about. You know, it ain't real beef. It's just like this is what we supposed to do. We supposed to back and forth and da da da. So like low key, I hope it's just kind of like shots back and forth, back and forth because that's mm-hmm. good. Like I like shit like that. It's definitely good competition. Yeah, yeah. I hope it results in a new Drake album. I hope it results in a fire Kendrick album, and I hope. That Jermaine was just joking around. <laughs> man. J. Cole, said, when you drop that album, when the fall off come, the you know, there have been be theories. Crazy. There yeah. have been theories that say like that say like the reason that he apologized and this, that, and the third is to get him as low as possible because his album is the fall off and he wanna boom, like, yeah, the fall off and whatever, yeah. and then come back fire, I mean, whatever the case. He, I just hope he definitely, he definitely did say the fall off is like listen to reason if he like try to doubt again. Yeah, yeah last, so I'm, I'm like, like I just hope man. that these next few albums drop in are gonna be fire and I just hope that like it kinda opens up 
back to kind of old rap. Like, I feel like rap these days is like... It's murder music. I ain't yeah, lie. like I... But then again, music back in the day was... That's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. Yeah. Like, fuck... Yeah. Yeah, like, fuck yeah, bad boy yeah, as a yeah. as a label <laughs> like fuck yeah, yeah like Nas I was about to, I want shit like that yeah Nas is about to hang Jay Z at Summer Jam and shit yeah. for real like yeah. I need yeah. Yo, I hope it. it brings that type of shit back no, without I, the murder I'm about to say other. yeah no <laughs> without the murdering each other but like was, the music because like this track used to be fire like. Word. This track used to be heat, yeah. like fucking. I wouldn't be surprised if the labels like, told these niggas to like diss each shit. other. To be honest, yeah. Because like I can say, it's just too many niggas dissing at one time. Yeah. Out of nowhere. All I know though is that this is prime Drake season because Drake be dropping fire shit for the summer. So like, this is like go ahead and cook up. Soon as June first hit, drop them shits. We gonna be bumping like. I feel yeah. like he does a lot of good like summer you vibing type of music, and then to like mix it with like we dissing niggas like mm-hmm. oh yeah I'm lit I'm chilling with my friends and it's fuck everybody. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> now, before you slide to the next topic, oh, I, I got to say. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh shit. My bad. <laughs> you I got bad clearly. <laughs> I got bad questions. I'm just, bad. I just feel like I feel like the reason why Kendrick is taking too so long is because I feel like he. He doesn't have like a warm up, like track. Oh, he, he probably has a just nuke. has a boom, he has like a nuke, a, <laughs> and he's yeah, waiting for Drake to drop like his he nuke. Is done for, and then he's. I don't know. I, this is that's how I look at it, but I do feel like this is like a ploy to just get all three of them niggas on tour. Yeah, that yeah, would I be fire like, though. Like, like, I, ain't gonna, I just want to know y'all input on this. So how do y'all? Because technically, Future and Metro Boomin is really the. The mastermind behind this shit. Shout out to Future, man. And they and he dissing Drake on like the whole album. Not really. Man, Metro they that nigga the whole album. No, they said, go no, and make no, some fucking really drums, not. nigga. I said <laughs> they they gonna Don't say hire the mariachi band, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yo, Drake is so, really killing these niggas right now. <laughs> y'all seen y'all seen Drumline. Y'all know the part where it's Devin, uh, <laughs> and he's going up for uh, for the little oh solo, and he's going mad hard. Yeah. And somebody was like, "Metro in the studio right now." And he was like, "Cooking, cooking." But yeah, nah. I think uh, first of all, Metro's Let's beats do be go. crazy. So like, he he do be got, he do be having some fire. So I hope the lyrics that come with it is fire. I don't know. I thought that shit was interesting. Like him and. Like Drake and them niggas, they had a whole album together. Yeah, like and now out of nowhere, you're, you're basically got an album of of dissing this man. Yes, like bro, it's different. I can't. It's a little different. I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Look, it be that secret animosity. This nigga, for you to have a whole album on the ready is kind of crazy. I mean, I, it might not have been on the ready, but like you was just fucking with me. You was just on an album with me, and then. Boom, now it's fuck Drake. I got a whole album. That means you was in the studio, oh, like, okay, this is song nah. one, this is song two, this is mm-hmm. Metro and Drake was like had a little tiff. Right. Did they? Yeah, yeah. cause um it was something I think cause like her loss got nominated for a Grammy. Mm-hmm. It was some shit. It was something like that, but mm-hmm. like I forget. Cause 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 Heroes and Villains got nominated too, so I'm just Trying to figure out why it was something around that, yeah. And then like Metro has some has, has some words, and that's when Drake made that like Anita Max Win video. Oh yeah, that's Anita mm-hmm. Max Win. Yeah. <laughs> shit, shit, Corey. I love Drake. Y'all can never make me hate that man. So we gonna move on to some other, some more, some more cat. <laughs> <Some>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a whole lot of beef. We gonna talk about Chris Brown, it's my tourist brother, and uh, Quavo. Mm-hmm. They have some words. It's over a woman, so uh, over two women apparently. Two women, bro. So yeah, they must got some good pussy. Bro. I was about to say Karuchi <laughs> with the good coochie, yeah. yo, and I, Shawiti Shweetie. Like, listen. I don't get it. Like, and neither one of them is with these women, right? Yeah, Shweetie, uh, why, they I, had, I, they had. So their beef started in 2017 because of Karuchi. Because of Karuchi, yeah, yeah. Because Quavo and Karuchi were dating, and. Chris Brown obviously used to date Karuchi. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on his song, he was talking about, uh, I fucked your ex while you were still with her. He was talking about Sweetie. And then Sweetie, she did a quick little post and delete. I don't know if y'all caught it. I know it's still circulating on Twitter, but she had posted, um, 
she had posted something about like something about modeling. I don't remember what the quote was, Mm -hmm. but it was her DMs. And at the very bottom is a DM from Quavo saying like, I thought we was good, blah, blah, blah. (laughs) And the timestamp on her thing was like five hours after a game that she was at that she was sitting beside Chris Brown. So they're thinking he was in her DM snapping because she was at the game with Chris with Brown, Chris Brown type yeah. of thing. Um, but yeah, they all their beef has been over girls. But what is uh what is the basketball game, the celebrity basketball game that they be doing? Oh, what is the the, the the revolt shit, TCL yeah. or some so, shit like that. Yeah, like oh, two years uh-huh. ago or three years ago, I don't remember which one Chris it was. Brown kept saying, Chris Brown was like, bring your bitch ass out here. <laughs> so then at the latest one. The interviewer was like, "Yeah, you were calling some people out," and Chris Brown goes, "Yeah, Quavo, I'm still telling him bring his bitch ass out," and I'm and they're like, "Oh, he was dead serious, like, yeah, he been yeah, calling he this nigga ass. out for years, yeah. like, for I ain't years." Gonna lie, I thought that was some court shit. You know, Quavo be hooping too, like, he kinda yeah. Nice. So I thought yeah. it was. I feel like everybody thought that. Everybody was like, "Oh, he probably just ain't like the shit." You know, yeah. that was going on in the game, da da da. But nah, that nigga was real life, like, wanting to fight this nigga, <laughs> like, bro. And then, uh, you know, Virginia boys alone, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though. To beef with Chris Brown, like he, I remember he said it in an interview. He was like, the best part about him beating niggas up is when the niggas that he beat up realize, like, dang, I just got beat up by an R and B singing ass nigga. Like, <laughs> damn, like, damn, like I just got beat up by the nigga who be what to what. Like you, you really got like yeah. choked out and body slammed by a nigga who be. Practicing runs in the studio, like mm-hmm. that's crazy when you think about it. Cause, especially because like. Even though Chris Brown is like, you know, gang affiliated and, and shit like that, mm-hmm. he doesn't really come off as like a guns and drugs type of nigga. Mm-hmm. Quavo, on the other hand, he's all that. He yeah. is. So, like, but a church boy at the same time. It's yeah. Weird. So, like, for you to be getting bodied like that by Chris Brown is kind of like, it was so left field. Like, yeah, we understood y'all had beef, but we did not understand that Chris was really about to be on your fucking ass. Like, <laughs> yeah. Called you out and everything, and just the beginning, like that voice note. I know some people saying it wasn't real. I, I fully believe it was real. Y'all. This nigga said, "Please, bro, <laughs> please, bro. I don't want no I beat, bro. Please, please bro. Boy, yeah. I hope it was. I really hope it was, cause like you really be on here talking about guns and drugs, and I'm a real ass nigga, and you begging Chris Bree- Breezy, see Breezy, mm-hmm. not to beat you up is crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah." Yeah, that's some shit. I ain't gonna lie, man. Insane. It's kind of fuck with Quavo, but like... Nigga got a cover of this Christmas crazy. and you scared of him. <laughs> that's insane to me. Like, that's insane to me, bro. Why well, we gotta bring up this Christmas, though? That's a good cover, though. I ain't gonna lie. It, Yo, it was, was a fire was cover, that's but I'm shit. saying, like, you begging for your life over a nigga who was in the studio covering Christmas songs. Yo, like that's, I, a, that's allegedly... Allegedly, Quavo. Allegedly. <laughs> Please, bro. I need a t-shirt that say that. Please, bro. Yo, if that was, yo, yo was begging. I ain't go. <laughs> he, yo, he said, I don't want to fight with you. I don't want to beef with you. Nothing, bro. Please, bro. I don't want no smoke, bro. <laughs> that shit, like, nah. I say that in my head all day long. Please, bro. And It was just funny because, like, it was, like, 1230, like, early Saturday morning <laughs> that shit dropped. Yeah. I was like, like, what the fuck? Like... Niggas was just getting up for the day, getting their life started. Yeah, I'm you know, like, it's what a the Saturday, hell? we sleeping in, we chilling. And then, Boom. And then Quavo dropped a couple of days later. Yeah. And then, and then Chris Brown said he, he wasn't going to respond to that shit because it was trash. I ain't going to say it was trash. Oh, I thought he brought up some some points. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Him hitting women, even the cover. We remember that that about any scene with the two girls. Look the little sus. Listen. Yeah. Like, like I said, like I think they, they went tit for tat, for real, for real. I, I think they went tit for tat. I do feel like it was crazy for somebody who has formerly beat a woman to call somebody else out for beating a woman. However, you know, Chris ain't been beating no women these days, so he might have been reformed. Oh, shit. Yeah, Quavo did hit on Sweetie, huh? Beat, beat her the fuck up in the elevator. And I it's forgot a, about so that. So my, my <laughs> whole thing is also, there's a, vi- there's a picture of Chris Brown choking Karuchi. There's a video of Quavo tossing Sweetie's ass around in the elevator. Yo, word. So, like, uh, I, I honestly, I yeah, get the it. They're both the same. They're crazy. both the same. Yeah. Like, <laughs> either way, y'all was hitting yeah, women, we, but like. We laughing at domestic violence. That's Yo, crazy. Yo, we are. That's kind of fucked up. I wasn't we laughing. do not promote at domestic violence. I wasn't laughing. 
I don't think y'all should be beating on women ever Fair. at all. Nah. But just the fact that both of y'all be beating women and y'all both took shots like, well, you beat a woman too. <laughs> like, nigga, what? Like, what the fuck? Like... <laughs> I saw your video. Hey, <laughs> the only thing Quavo could say for real for real is like, well, you beat two, I beat one. Like, Damn. that's really all he could say. Yo, like, so yeah. which is We insane. do not promote domestic violence on this we show. Don't, don't, don't be putting your hands on people. Don't God be putting damn. your hands on people. Jesus Christ. But the way you worded that, these niggas is really funny. Yo, <laughs> like, that's really insane. Like, nigga said, you, you beat a woman in the elevator. Well, you did it first. Facts. You set the tone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> we do not promote Gosh. domestic violence, y'all. I promise you we oh, do wow. not. I promise you we do not. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we going to... <laughs> go, go ahead, Dave. Go ahead, Dave. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so um, we're going to move on. We're going to talk about our Lord and Savior. Shout out to God. Moving from domestic violence to the Lord <laughs> is crazy. That is why I ain't going to lie. But shout out to God, real talk. So, yeah, we're going to talk about these church theatrics. Mm. So there was a TikTok of a guy basically saying he doesn't go to church because of the theatrics that guys like Mike Todd do. Like, he, I saw a video of him like eating a cookie, like or taking a bite out of a cookie and putting it back in the the, the little container, and taking a bite out of another cookie, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. trying to make trying to get his point across. He put like fake nut on his face. Mm-hmm. I was like, it was yeah. some wild shit. And then he spit, he on, spit his on his hand, hand and, and then rubbed it on, on his face. Yeah. So yeah, how do we feel about all Man, that shit? The theatrics is crazy. Like everybody gets the word differently. And I mean, if that's how you, you Man, know, learn a word and that's how you listen, get it, cool. Listen, listen. But <laughs> you put fake nut on your face and that's how you can get the word There's through. not one thing in this Bible that you need to explain to me by rubbing nut on your face. I promise Real you. Shit. I promise you. Oh, I promise like, you. Like, nah. I mean, hey, bro. <laughs> nah, there really isn't. It's really not, but I... How can I word this? Please find some good ones. Some, go some motherfuckers learn differently. That's that's I'm, all I'm, I can really I, say. I understand that. Find people where they at. I'm not right. mad at that. You put <laughs> that's still fake nut on your face, my nigga. The nut for rubbers what? of the world was like, yes, I feel this. <laughs> <laughs> this the sermon right here. Say it. I feel the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you feeling something? <laughs> oh, we are going to hell. Oh. See, yeah, Listen. like, I'm, uh, yeah, the nut shit. I don't know about that. I ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's nut shit, shit, literally. <laughs> it is some nut That's nut shit, shit literally. <laughs> That's just some nut shit, you know? I feel like he's probably not going where he think he's going when the day comes. I feel like you're using God's name to get you some views and wild out and... Mm-hmm. I don't think that's going to sit right on that glorious day, my friend. But to each their own. I personally would never go to a church like that. I stopped going to the church I used to go to specifically because our pastor would talk more about football Sunday than church. Every time we go to church, every time we would be at church, oh, how about that game and how about this and how... Sir, I'm here to literally speak about God. Why are we worried about... The Cowboys Word. and the Eagles Mm-mm. literally don't understand it. But, like, it would be to the point where, like, sometimes they're, the way they get their message across completely deteriorates the, like, it, it, mm-hmm. it's not even about God anymore at this point. You know what I mean? Yeah, we just and then it turned into shit. side conversations and da-da-da-da. Literally to the point where, like, I'm here, like... I'm supposed to be in church. I thought I was at church, but right. I don't really know where I'm at. I, I guess I'm at like a just a kickback. We chilling, we talking, <laughs> like, we talking or whatever. But like right. all that, like screaming and needing to do little theatrics like that, like that's so extra. And I feel like even saying like, you know, some people get the word that way. Y'all are dumb as hell. Y'all are really dumb as hell. I'm sorry. And y'all can quote me, and I, I'm not taking it back, and I'm not sorry. If if you go to this church and mm-hmm. you see a grown man on stage rubbing fake nut on his head, and you're like, "This is my, this is my fucking pastor. This is this is my guy," 
I'm coming here every week. You have Damn. mental issues. Yo. You really have issues. You are fucking stupid. Yo. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, don't get me Dude. wrong. Like, Y'all are I mean, stupid. I ain't like, with this shit, but damn, people, people, people learn differently. If, learn hey, differently. listen. Anybody who learns by watching a grown man rub nut on her face is not the kind of people I want to learn with. Yeah. I can't respect that. I'm not going to lie. It's like, <laughs> I feel like... If that's the case, it's going to be two different gates when you get up there. It's going to be gates for the normal people and <laughs> gates for the nut rubbers. And <sighs> when y'all get up there, take that little left and leave us alone. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. <laughs> How you Go feel, ahead. bro? Listen, it ain't for me. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't for me. It ain't for me. It's not. I'm, 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 hey. I think I think I think this shit weird, but at the same time, weird. it's like if that's how you learn, a hey, who am I? At the end of the day, to say anything about that. And I'm sure, buddy had you know probably some theatrics that actually made sense, and it wasn't nut rubbing and shit like that. No, but like, I'm, I'm sure it, at least one of them that he like, spit uh, in his hand and rubbed it on the man. Yeah, that shit crazy. <laughs> I don't get the daylights out of that man. Like in church. In, that's not church. No, I remember, I remember. That ain't church. Listen. My cousin fought in church one day. <laughs> Listen. Church ain't a building. Oh, I'm going to say that. <laughs> Yo, we, Please forgive us. Fighting for in church sins. is crazy. How you in the Lord's house angry? Oh, no, man. Yeah, that's I ain't lie. How did that happen? <laughs> How did it happen? <laughs> oh, niggas, went to? oh, this one I was visiting him in Georgia. <gasps> My cousin in Georgia. So we was like playing around and like. Literally, everybody was playing around. Bull mm-hmm. slapped my cousin, right? Oh. That ain't no, no, he, no, 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 no. It was like a little slight slap. Uh-huh. This nigga, he wasn't mad or nothing, but like he got him back. And then like they started rumbling, they broke the door and all that shit. Uh-uh. <laughs> I was like, damn. Like, Talk wow. about zero to a hundred real quick, yeah. huh? <laughs> Which cousin? You don't know. Oh, I was about to say, what's the Shawnee? Not Shawnee rumbling in church. No, I said when I visited him in, when, I, when, I, when I was in, when I visited them in Georgia. Oh, oh, no, oh, no. got you, got you, got no, you. No, 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 no. That's oh, that's dude. ten times crazier. You got family visiting your church and y'all turning up like that. Like yeah. Yeah. Welcome yeah. to my church. Mink, 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 mink. <laughs> no, it is, no, it's funny thing. We were visiting another church because they, cause they oh, it was wasn't even y'all's church. Like, wasn't it wasn't, even, it wasn't even that home church. We visited visiting. <laughs> nah, it's crazy. Like, how you visited to I the forget, second power? I, for, I, for, <laughs> I forgot what the thing was called, but they did the, they they like Congregated like at different churches on like every fifth Sunday or some shit like that. Something oh, like that. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, but um yeah. <laughs> so and like they 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 was practicing for like for their little mom mom performance mm-hmm. and shit. So yeah, that's that's why it we just keep getting worse and worse. I'm just, hey, listen, Houses, bro. That's all man, I nah, say. that shit remind, that, that that reminded me when my aunt made me play play play, play my play my my cousin had a little like Tom Thumb wedding, whatever them shits is called. Tamarine or I don't know, man. We were you trying to say tambourine, bro? We were to say tambourine? No, Tom Thumb Wedding. That's what they Tom call it. Tom Thumb Wedding? I, I was like, bro, that's not how you say that <laughs> shit at nah, all. Nah, nah, like, I don't know how we even got to this point. But, um, nah, like, for some reason, I don't know what this was even for to begin with. Like, it was mm-hmm. like a fake wedding. And, like, yeah. my little cousin was in it. Well, she grown okay. up. But my little cousin was, like, the, like, Getting married and something like that. Yeah. Okay. To this day, I really don't know what what was going on. <laughs> when I I went down there to visit, I was down there for like a month or two. My aunt made me like be play her dad or some shit like that. Ooh. I was like, nah, <laughs> like not like it was like everybody knew it was fake. Yeah. But like we had to like do the like the like rehearsals. The like, of a what? Are you sure it was fake? Yes, it was fake. I knew it was down the entire south. time. It was, it's not because she, she got a boyfriend. She know how to get down down south now. Nah, nah, she got a boyfriend. And it, it's, it's, Legally? And it, and it wasn't dude. That was I, the wedding. I, it wasn't. It wasn't. Imagine but, it was though. Bruh. No. I mean, it might well, be. So I don't you remember. Sure, you I don't sure remember dude for real. train daughter for cattle? Like, <laughs> 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 All right, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nigga. I'm, nah, I'm, I'm, hey, but nigga. Nah, like, <laughs> nah, like, I get down there and my aunt's like, oh, yeah. You're going to be in a wedding too. I'm like, I don't even know what this is even about. Like, I was, I was, what we talking I was, about? I was, First day out here. I was, I was like 11. <laughs> like, what's going on? Here? Like, yo. But no, nah, this shit was just, I, all, all I had to do was, yeah, I, I give her away and to sit down. That's all I had to do. Yeah. Like, you couldn't find nobody else to do this. Yeah, like yo, I would, and, they done and, recruited Dev all the way from PA. Like we then, need him and here. And then I'm the only we one. We need who, him. He's and, the and, only and, one that and can then, do and it. And then I ain't going. I probably sounded weird saying it because I'm the only one down there with, with no accent. Oh so yeah, I was like, yo. So you sticking out like a sore thumb. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I don't, man. 
That shit was weird, yo. Shout out to Atlanta. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, it was Savannah. Oh, Savannah, well, I'm, I'm sorry. Look at you, shouting out the wrong place. Yeah, my bad. That's like four hours away. Shout out to Georgia. How about that? <laughs> my ex's dad is from Augusta. He used to talk to me and I'll be like, Huh? <laughs> For real. Like, what? never understood a word that man said. So, yeah. Moving on. So, uh, <clears throat> I saw a clip from the Big Homie podcast. Finally got the podcast name. Shout out to me. Um, <laughs> she, there was a woman on the show that said she didn't want a, a man that played video games. Crazy. So, my thing is, crazy. should hobbies affect whether or not you want to pursue a relationship with somebody? Go Depending ahead, on think. a hobby. What's what's the hobby? I ain't gonna, like video. I don't see video games as too crazy, but like, if you are like on a game, like literally all day, every day, you ain't working, you ain't. You one of them niggas with a piss bottle. Word, like mm. just playing two K all day. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. But like for a nigga to come home from work and play the game for an hour or two, I don't see the problem. Yeah. I, I really don't. <laughs> like, why are you bad? Because I want to play the game for real. Yeah. Um. I, Especially if I'm supporting you like the fuck. Like, <laughs> message. <laughs> I think it depends on the hobby too. Like uh my one of my older brothers, his uh ex wife, now ex wife, she used to collect porcelain dolls. I'm not I'm not you're not living with me at all. Yeah, you well, you she wild. had a whole room, you open the door and they're stacked shelves. Yeah. And you know, like all them scary movies, it be them mm, evil ass dolls. It was mm, them type of dolls mm-hmm. with like the pink chips and yeah, nah, nah, straight. nah. But like playing a video game, that never really bothered me. Like uh, my son's dad, when we were together, when I was pregnant, I he used to play the game. He would come, he would go to work all day, come home, take a shower, be playing the game, and I'd be there. Not, I never cared. Like that don't bother me. He right. still go to work. He still, you know, do and laundry. And, you yeah. know, yeah, like it, it never really bothered me. Now, like you were saying, if <clears throat> if you're one of them people who sit on your ass all day on the game, like that that'll piss me off. But it's still not something that I would be like, we can't be together. You know what I mean? Like if it if it's like I wake up, better be streaming right, or some for shit. For <laughs> example, say we both work uh, Monday through Friday, right? Mm-hmm. If I wake up Saturday at 10 a.m. and you're on the game, I'm not going to be bothered by it. All right. If I get up, I do the laundry, I cook breakfast, I run to the store, get groceries, I come back, you're still in the game, I'll be like, all right, I wasn't home all day, whatever, he was on the game. If I go to cook lunch, you still in the game, you eat, you get back on the game, you then I'm going to be like, damn, nigga, like you, you don't do nothing else. But I'm not going to be like, we have, I'm not dating you, you play the video game too much, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because then you also have to think, okay, you did work all week, this is your day off, you want to play your game, type shit. Mm-hmm. I, I don't think it's something to be like, Ruining a relationship over, but like I said, if it's to the extent where it's like you got piss bottles and you in the dark room with your headset on and you got three monitors and you, then it's like, all right, sorry, my all right, boy, you a little bit of a hermit, like you got to come out the room sometimes, like you need that's sunlight, facts. like that's fact, that's crazy, like them people who be six keyboards, five screens, all these different mice. Oh well, mm. this this mouse is good for if you wanna. You know, play Call of Duty because yeah. <laughs> they got the little roller ball on the top instead of the. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know exactly. What you're yeah, yeah, like if it if it's like out of hand, then it's then it's like I get it. But that goes for any hobby though. Yes. I think like if your if your hobby is like going to the gym. If I wake up every day and you're not in bed because you're at the gym, and then you come home, you take a shower, you eat, and then you're like, all right, I'm gonna go back to the gym, and you do, you know what I mean? I, maybe the gym was a bad example, but like if it's something that like you literally can't sit the fuck down from for five minutes, then it's like, all right, that's no longer a hobby. That's an addiction. Get your, get your shit yeah. together. Like, that's real. No, that's real. Yeah. I'm trying to think. What's a, what's a female? Like adjacent Why'd to you like look the at guys me when playing. You... <laughs> well, because <laughs> like... you probably would know, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> you, look at me, like... you smart. You be knowing shit. I'm just like... <laughs> I feel like. But like, what's what's that? What's that adjacent um, hobby? Are you still before? looking at me? Damn, what? I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> look, you, he treating you like Rick Ross today. I'm telling you. Uh, I feel like that would be more like hair and makeup, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Honestly, I'm going to go I'm going to go with like YouTube and and TikTok. Okay. Because they're like especially when we have YouTubers that we faithfully watch. Mm-hmm. Cuz like uh, for example, example, that's crazy. <laughs> for example, for example, um 
Diera. Uh, I don't know if oh, y'all yeah, ever heard Diera and Ken. That shit heavy. Uh, yeah. So Diera has her own channel now, obviously, and um, she been gone. She stopped doing YouTube for four months. Mm-hmm. She just last week came back and dropped two videos. So like, I know me and my friend Shay, like we were hyped. Like Diera's back on YouTube. You know what I mean? So like, mm-hmm. I'll watch both of them videos back to back. But like, I'm not gonna binge seven videos in a row. Right. You know what I mean? Whereas. Dudes would be like, all right, this is my last game. All right, this is my last game. All right, this is my... I'll watch a couple of videos and be like, all right, damn, my eyes. Like, let me do something yeah, else. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? But I feel like maybe that would be kind of the equivalent. Like, okay. you know, get into your YouTube, your Insta... Especially, like, with hair and makeup. I'll get into, like, YouTube reels, people doing nails, people doing hair, like, mm-hmm. stuff like that. So maybe that's the equivalent. But I feel like that's more of a I have downtime on board type of thing. So I'm not really sure if that. I mean, guys feel the same way with the game. Yeah. I mean, I, the way I look at it, as long as you're taking care of your responsibilities as an adult and you're mm-hmm. not neglecting your partner, I don't have an, I don't but, see why that would be an issue. Yeah. Especially, especially like immediately mm-hmm. yeah. before. Now, like, <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like it kind of depends. Also, like, what, it, like. Like, let's say your partner wants to, like, go out on a date or, like, they want to just hang out with you or something and you're like, nah, I'm on the date. But the guys date. need me. Or They're just, on duty. Or, 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 like, a game's on that, that you want to see. This is the sh- <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> yo, this is so tough. Yo, but nah. Look at this score real quick. It ain't. <laughs> no, no. One. You don't know these niggas. Neither do you. No, 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 no. They'll they'll fuck around and lose this shit. Okay? You don't you don't you don't They did it twice. They did do it twice They're already. They're down by three points okay? in the second half. That's that no, you don't know them. <laughs> they will come out soft in the second half. You don't know that. Pause. No pause. Yo, that's no, 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 no. no. We're not just going to over pause, that. Pause. Why would you say that about how many men is on the court right now? Why would you say that about all the men? You don't know you, them. Neither do <laughs> what? you. Yo, this. <laughs> Yo. No fuck around. Okay, they're bro. down by one. Look, okay. They're, they're doing good. That don't mean they're, sh- do, they're keeping up. That's all that matters. They're keeping up. That don't mean up. shit. <laughs> it's the playoffs, right? It's the playoffs. <laughs> they're down 2-0. Ha- you got. Down it's only zero. the second half. You don't like, It's only the second you don't quarter, understand. I mean. You don't understand. <laughs> they Yo, they going to leave fans. We going They going to come out unmotivated in the second half. And we're going to lose. Then we're going to be down 3-0. <laughs> There's no coming back from that that point. Oh, we we you're three straight, huh? You're three zero. They no. two and zero right now. Oh, yeah. that's what he's saying. Like they second half, yeah. they might come. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. Well, good yeah. luck to you. It's been two decades of bullshit from then. Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, like, God damn, yo. But nah, but nah. It, I think. Like, all right. Let's say because it's the playoffs right now. Mm-hmm. Let's say I'm in a relationship. She wants to go out on a date or whatever. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to watch this. So the compromise, we, we're probably going to go to a spot that has the game on. I was about to say, y'all about to right. go to be dubbed. <laughs> you know y'all forgive Dev. Yeah. <laughs> for, he, threw the, he threw the mic. This nigga is pissed. That ain't count. That ain't count. That ain't count. That ain't count. But nah, my fault. <laughs> my fault. But nah, um. That was a move though. I ain't going to lie. But nah, um. I was about to say. You said you're gonna go somewhere. <laughs> you yeah, can't even yeah. think. Y'all gonna compromise again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna, gonna compromise. The game on, yeah. yeah, yeah. But like, let's say it was like a regular season game against the Rockets or some shit. No, we can go wherever. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. But, but yeah. also, I feel like as your partner, I would be like, "Dang, he been waiting to watch this game. Maybe we'll go out tomorrow. Like, maybe we'll go out before the game. We could do a lunch date or something, mm-hmm. or we could go out after the game. Like, right. like you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like there's low key. It has to be like gotta be happy like, middle. Bitch, you know I've been waiting to watch this game. Why would you ask me to take you out? Like, why so would you do that? Like, <laughs> yeah, because yeah. then now, because <laughs> me personally, I would be irritated now because even though we went out like I wanted to, you're not focused on being out. You're focused on the game. You know what I mean? So it's like for all that, I could have just let you rock out, watch it at home, and we could have went somewhere the next day or something like that. Yeah, that's real too. Yeah. So, moving on from another clip from the uh, Big Homies podcast. They were talking about pulling up to your partner's, person's, whatever the fuck's crib, uninvited, mm-hmm. just because they're at home. Mm-hmm. How do we feel about that? Don't do it. That's, that shit crazy. Yep. <laughs> Don't do it. That shit crazy. Oh, at least, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> like, if it's the same day type time, that's whatever. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, but still calling, like, yo, you home? It's cool if I pull up. Like, yeah. Yeah. it's just common courtesy. Yeah. That's all. Like, just common courtesy. But just because you know I'm home and you just pull up. Popping up like, at my house is going to do nothing but piss you off because I am an avid. I I don't answer the door. I look out the peephole and be like, and then I go sit on the couch. My son be ruining it for me because he'll literally be like, mom, the door. And I'd be like, Shh. like, I don't want these people knowing I'm home, boy. But uh, like, if you don't text me first, don't, don't just pop up at my house. Like I, that would stress me out so bad because I'd be like in my space. I'd be like in to just yeah. be at home. I'd be ugly at home. Why would you pop up? And I got on blue biker shorts and a bright pink shirt and a messy bun. Like, why are you embarrassing me like this? Like, I'm I'm in my element right now. You can't just pop up. But um, like I don't even do that to my family. I don't do that to my friends. Like right. I there have yeah, now. Don't get me wrong. Like uh, I feel like Anna is really the only person I do this to. But like I'll get off work at four o'clock and text her like, Yo, I'm about to come over. She'll literally say. Oh, I'm still at work, or I'm doing this today, or she'll be like, "All right, bet doors open," type right. thing. You know what I mean? At least give me some type of heads up that you are wanting to come over, and then you, I can answer it in whatever way. And I feel like right. because I don't take offense to people telling me not to come, like you know, if she would be like, "Oh yeah, not today," I'm not gonna be like, "Oh my god," I'm just gonna be like, "All right, bet like just let me know when you're free, like I'll come over another time." Mm -hmm. That stuff, that type of stuff doesn't phase me. Mm -hmm. I understand some people have a little bit softer, like uh, ego. Yeah. Like, oh my God, you don't want me to come over? That's fucked up. Like, mm -hmm. sit down right. somewhere. Like, sit down somewhere. Um, but like, just popping up, I would be so stressed out. Like, at least tell me first. Let me know. Like, you don't know what I'm doing right now. You don't know if I'm sitting here freaking doing all my laundry for the week and Word. doing dishes and deep cleaning. You don't know what I'm doing. Take so care like, of your son. like, yeah, even that. Like, yeah. at least hit me up. Like, and then you pop up unannounced, and I'm not even there or something. Like, right. you pop up and I just left the house. Like, okay, I'm not coming back until I'm done with what I was doing. So, you might as well. Or they're like, hey, what you doing? Oh, I'm at home chilling. <laughs> I bet I'm outside. <laughs> yeah, like, what you mean you're outside? Yeah. I'd be like, well, I hope you're outside of your house because if you're outside of mine, you ain't going to get far. Word. See, like, the thing with me is nine times out of ten, if I'm at the crib, I'm not doing nothing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. At the same time, though, like, I don't know if it's because I'm only child, but it's like, yo, like, I like my space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it's just like... You could just text me or call me. Like, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, and then it's like, you come over, it's like, I got to be a, a good host and shit. Shit. And you getting on my nerves and it's like- <laughs> You getting on my nerves. I'm just, no, nah, it's like, for one, you you already low-key pissed me off just by popping up over here. Yeah. To start, to just to start. And now it's like, and now you just talking my ear off while yeah. it was silent. Yeah, and you, de yeah. you definitely, if you are going to pop up, you got to pick the right friend to do that too, like- I was just like about I to say said, that. like yeah, like I got some, I got some brothers I could do that, so I, I just pull up whenever. Yeah, but that's because our relationship is like that, kind of like what you and in a way. Yeah, like it's still like yo, you at the house? Yeah, all right, I'm pulling up. All right, yeah, bet. yeah, like, and you know. and for especially with Anna, like we're comfortable. So like there are times where I'll go to her house and I just get right on the couch or right on the bed and just be texting like. We don't half the time we don't even be talking. We just be right. Y'all just in each other company. Like, yeah, yeah. That's so it. I have fr I have friends that I be like that with. So like it doesn't really phase me mm. or phase them. But like right. I feel like especially like I don't think I I don't invite people to my house. Like right. I be having family at my house, but like I really don't. Especially because like now I live all the way in Lancaster. Like I feel like it's kind of rude to be like, gonna oh tell hey, the, can tell you the pod that you gonna tell the world that where you live at. Lancaster is a big county. Yeah, sure. Shot the link. <laughs> <laughs> Especially since I live over there now. Uh -huh. um, like, I feel like it's kind of, like, I'm not just going to hit you up like, oh, come over today and know you got to take that 40-minute drive mm -hmm. from one spot to another or hour drive, you know, however far yeah. it is away from you. Like, I feel like that's kind of rude. <laughs> so that's why, like, because I work out here, mm -hmm. when I get off work, I'll hit her up like, yo, I'm about to come over for a little bit because... I'm already out here. I'm already, you know what I mean? Right. So, but I don't know. Even when I move and stuff, like, you got to text me. You got to let me know. Uh, like, you got to. It's common courtesy. Yeah, like, don't just courtesy. pop up. Like, 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 yo, it's not that hard. Like, we, I mean, we, I mean, we obviously got that type of relationship. It's not yeah. that hard to hit me up. Yeah, It'll be facts. like, I don't, I, I don't care for 
like months, years deep in this relationship. I don't right. know. It don't yeah. just pop up. Yeah, <laughs> facts. So, yeah. That's a fact. So, yeah. What's the moral of that story? <laughs> yeah, moral story. Is that common courtesy, people? Yeah. <laughs> I think the only time that it's okay is if it's like emergency. Like if Word. if you a just, dire emergency. Yeah, like if you just got into like a situation and fucking your house on fire, come over. Like I'm not gonna be like you didn't call me. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh my god, you just <laughs> lost yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. but you didn't call me, so yeah. you cannot come in. Yeah, yeah. That's different. Like if it's an actual emergency or like you know, then you don't gotta call me. You yeah. just you just wanna come over. And yeah. Chill. Yeah. 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 You just wanna come over and chill. Yeah. Like if it's a random Tuesday and you bored, text yeah. me. Text me at least, <laughs> and don't call me. Oh, I hate when people call me. Yo, I go, no, I'm a caller. I hate, I hate people that call text me. Shit. No, I'm, I'm a not gonna call. I hate call. Answer the fucking phone. I mean, man. unless it's unless it's important or like you need an immediate answer, do not call me. <laughs> so I. <laughs> On God, like <laughs> I have anxiety. So like uh-huh. a lot of time, yeah, I have anxiety. Oh, man. Just period, I have anxiety. But phone calls are one of the things that stress me out a lot. Because if really? you, yeah, like if you call me nine times out of 10, I'm not going to answer because I don't know why you're calling me and I don't know what the conversation is about to be about. But as, oh, yeah, but listen, five. listen, no, but it's, it's just like, because of my anxiety. But after the phone's done ringing, I'll call you back because I nigga, have, you lie. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking, not when listen, you can just answer the phone. So the, the way that my anxiety is, is just that like when you're calling me, there's immediate, I have no idea what I'm walking into. When you're done calling me and I call you back, I immediately know the very first conversation we're going to have is, why you ain't pick up? And then it's like, okay, I can transition into a conversation from that. I just have anxiety. I don't like when people call me, especially like work calls on my day off. I'm not answering your phone call. You got to text me. You got to leave a voicemail and I will text you back. I'm not calling you. Yeah, I definitely I'm not tell calling customers you. all day. Text I don't, me first. Yeah, like I don't I just don't, answer any number. I just and don't do that. It was really bad when I worked at a 911. I worked at a call center, 911 call center for two years. <laughs> You could not That's a job. you could not get me on the phone when I worked there. Like I would leave work and my phone would ring and I would literally like Facts. And I would toss it. Like I don't I've been talking on the phone for eight hours straight, sometimes sixteen hours straight, don't call me. Damn. And I remember I, I got I was really mean when I worked there, low key. Like I was really like, you gotta tell me what you want. Like, come on. And I remember my uh, shit, my I boyfriend at the time. We were on the phone and he's like yapping in my ear and I was like, Damn. and I clocked in like I don't I can't do it I can't do it he was like he was arguing with me about something and I was just like, and I went clocked in, worked four hours until my break, got on my break and he's blowing my phone up like why would you hang up on me and I said you really wasn't saying nothing and I'm at work like I, you know I don't no. like being on the phone you're you're wasting my time yeah, you got to be to the point you got to tell me what you want what you need <laughs> like. Yeah, you gotta be quick. yeah, for real, for real. And like, people don't be saying nothing on the phone. For real? Nah, because like, growing up, when I would like, listen to my mom's conversation, it was a whole bunch of nothing. Now, mm-hmm. now, yeah, girl. Now, yeah, it's like, what the, like, mm-hmm. what are you doing here? Like, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm trying to watch something. SpongeBob, you, you, you in the background talking to your friends about nothing. Yeah. Like, I mean, granted, oh. texting wasn't really a thing yeah, back then, yeah. but it's like, it's an hour and a half conversation about nothing. But I you will want, say, go ahead. No, go ahead. With it depends on who you are too, because like with my girlfriend, we sit on Facetime and don't even talk, and See, no, I just have her pause shit, and. No. Yeah, my girl do that all the time. I ain't <laughs> yeah, yeah fuck but no. like just you calling me, then I gotta like, I don't call me if I gotta find things to talk about. Because like if a text fizzle out, okay, I don't have to reply no more. Mm-hmm. If a call fizzle out, yeah, all right, well. I think I'm about to maybe take a shower and chill. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let you. Like, I don't like doing all that. Like, bro, yeah. just just text me. Yo, you fucking hate me and then my. We your phone down there. I'll talk about the same shit. Just I mean, like yeah. this is like I don't know. I I, I, don't, I don't mind talking on the phone. I rather talk. I, I hate texting. I feel like texting sometimes, especially depending on like the situation. It takes longer. I mean, when you fucking text, don't like, get me wrong. Just talk to you real quick for five minutes, and that's if it's it. important, like, if it's important. I'll call you. I don't have a problem with yeah. ca- talking on the phone. It's right. just I'm not trying to talk about nothing. <laughs> like that's my issue. I'll we need a you. we need a topic before I get on this damn phone call. Like for real. Like honestly. But I don't text either. My friends, my friends used to get mad at me about it, but they don't really anymore. Sometimes Liz be mad at me because like I'll go like two three weeks without texting nobody. And then I remember uh, the other day 
I was texting uh, my friend Shay mm. about a trip we were trying to plan. And then I went to Anna's house and uh, she was like, yeah, Shay told me you were texting her. And I said, what? I said, yeah, because I really like that's how often like I don't be texting mm-hmm. nobody. And like my friends now, like because we've all been we locked in. Like, been we've friends been friends for, for ever, years. Yeah. So like they know, like sometimes I just don't be. I'm the type of person where if I don't have nothing to talk about, like I don't really. Mm-hmm. I'm not just going to text you like, hey, what you doing? Oh, facts. same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like I don't like filler conversation. So like. I'd be kind of chilling, and then next time we got some shit to talk about, we'll text for a little bit, and then we'll FaceTime mm-hmm. or something like that. But I really, like, texting is, like, it's just tedious work to me. That's what I'm saying. That's <laughs> I just call but, like, sometimes quick. I'll get in, like, little kicks where, like, I'll text all my friends all the time. And then sometimes I'm back to, like, if you text me, we'll talk. If you don't, eventually I'll catch up with you. But, mm-hmm. like, I literally had to go on my little rounds after my birthday, and I was like, let me call Anna real quick. Let me call Liz real quick. Let me text Shay back. Let me, you know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I gotta do that next Saturday. Fuck. What? Text all your friends? Yeah, man. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he mad as hell. Like, fuck, I hate having friends. No, nah, it's not God, even talk that. to these niggas. Nah, I mean, nah, I don't mean, nah. I just talk, I talk to them every day, but it's like, I got, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good luck. Thank you, thank you. Oh, good yeah, luck. For thank your you. I'm like, fuck, yeah. yo. That shit do be kind of in a way. I ain't uh, gonna lie. But yeah, though. That's where you just get the main tech uh, comment like at the bottom of the post, like, all right, I appreciate all your <laughs> I, I, I remember I remember my I remember my mom called me because she cause she makes a post and it'd be people, it'd be like her friends, everybody comments. I don't I don't know what the how that even happened. She got like three hundred friends. Like, like everybody comments. Like, oh, like, happy all birthday, honey. Like, you know, I'll be like, it's like, oh Devin, Devin, there's some there's some people that 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 wish you happy birthday. You should go and thank them. I'm like, all right, I got you. They be like, oh, you're getting so big. Yeah, like, <laughs> like, lady, who yeah, are you? Exactly. <laughs> like, that's a grown ass man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, 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 I didn't wish them. Thank you. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, I mean, it, it's just I just forgot. Like, I'm pretty sure I at least like said that. thank you to everybody because I didn't get no, like much. Like, if you wish me happy birthday, I'm gonna say thank you. But like, if you make a post, I'm not. No. What do you mean? Like, cause like my mom makes a separate post. Oh, oh yeah, if you, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 if you wish me directly, I'm gonna say thank you. Cause oh yeah, yeah. yeah facts. But if you make a post, I'm like, no. I always just get on my mom's post and be like, thank you, everyone. Facts. And I'm only saying it once. So if you comment after that, thank you. Just go ahead and take that for yourself. Yo, and <laughs> I, at least, I will at least like or love like the comment. Though. Yeah, yeah. Say, that's, that's like, I do that, and then that, yeah. I'll do the big. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank you, everybody. You only get one. Yeah. Like, so yeah, if people like, comment after that happy birthday. You're not getting another. One. Fact, like, like, oh, <laughs> you should have been here ten minutes ago. And then like, what pisses me off the most? I got an aunt that always wishes me a happy birthday the day after. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. <laughs> Like, I ain't gonna lie, we all got one of Maybe them. she only remembers this, like, okay, single to mile. Oh, damn, shit. And then she go, <laughs> like, she nah. go to your page real quick, like, let me wish him a happy birthday because I done birthday forgot day. again. <laughs> what the fuck? But nah, though. Nah. So, yeah, um, this concludes uh, this episode. And as y'all know, we always give a final thought. So, Leek, what is your final thought? Man, spread more love, not hate. Follow me on all socials. That is just Leek. You know what I'm saying? Check on your peoples. Uh, follow me on all socials at it's really underscore underscore her. Please, bruh. Please, bruh. (laughs) (laughs) Um, ain't no, ain't no Drake takedown. That's really all I gotta say. Live your life. Do your thing. Don't bother people. Don't put your hands on people. Mm -hmm. Mind your business. Mind your business. Please, bruh. (laughs) Please, bruh. Uh, my final thought is, uh. I forgot to do this earlier, but uh, shout out to the South Carolina women's game, women Gamecocks for winning the national championship. Yeah, shout out to them, man. 30, they won it. They did that you know, thing. You know, okay. Undefeated. You know, shout out to Camilla Cardoso for getting drafted third, too. Shout nice. out to her. And Angel Reese. They're on the same team. Yo, that's yeah. going to be crazy. I ain't gonna yeah, lie. support women's basketball. Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I'm a believer this year. I ain't going to hold Who's your team? I don't know. <laughs> oh, aces. Aces? oh I didn't even peep his shirt. I didn't even peep his shirt. I didn't even peep it. Okay. I, I ain't gonna lie, like, cause you don't fuck with this nigga. You just be watching games and shit. And it's like, yo, wait a minute. Like, y'all really balling. Like, yeah. like y'all not on no bullshit. Like, y'all really balling. So, yeah. Uh yeah, follow all the socials GCC seven one seven on X group chat chronicles seven one seven on TikTok and Instagram the group chat chronicles on uh Facebook 
like and subscribe, turn on the notifications for the YouTube, and I would like to thank y'all for kicking it with us for however long we was here for, and we out. Peace.